Welcome back guys, this is TC Games Daily Origami Series, and my in my last few tutorials I showed you how to make all these uh, these three pinwheel design uh, lids. And before that I showed you how to make the pinwheel bases for the boxes. This time I'm going to show you how to make this particular pinwheel design for the lid. And as you can see it's even got design on the sides. And basically what I'm using is a 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet of origami paper. But uh, any square sheet of paper will do. It can even be printing paper. But uh, all of them have to be the same size. And same goes for the lid. And if you want to find out how to make a lid, you can check out my earlier video. So, once you've got your square sheet of origami paper, the first thing you want to do is you want to place it the side facing down, so the color side facing down. Unless of course if you want the uh, color design to cover all these white parts here and the white part to cover the um, colored designs here, then you can go ahead and start with the white side down and just invert the colors that I have right here. But anyway, I'm just going to start with the color side facing down. And the first thing you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge here aligns with the side edge right there. So just fold it like that. And once you fold it, simply crease it in, just like that. Now open it back up, and you should have a crease going from this edge here all the way down to this edge down here. Now what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this top edge here aligns with this side edge right here. So just fold it like this. And once you've got it aligned, simply crease it in, just like that. And then open it back up and you should have an X shape going through the center of the page. Now what you want to do is you want to take one of these tips right here and make it face you. It doesn't matter which side it is. It could be this tip or this tip. And what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this tip right here aligns with the center of the intersection of the X right there, of those creases you made. Just fold it like this. It should align with that center right there. And then crease it in. Once you've gotten this far, what you want to do is you want to keep this folded and just turn the page over, just like that. And now you should have one side that's folded like this. Take this edge and align it so that this edge aligns with that center crease right there. So just fold it like that. And as you do that, make sure this triangle pops out. So just fold it like this and then crease it in. As you may notice, the uh, first few steps are going to be exactly the same as the previous lids. So once you've gotten this far, what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge here aligns with this edge right there. So as you fold it, as you can see, this edge aligns with this edge. And simply crease it in once you get it there. Do the same on this side, just fold it, align this edge with this edge, and crease it in. Now you should have something that looks like this. Once you've gotten this far, just unfold this part and fold it like that. Now what you want to do is you want to unfold this flap, leave this flap folded, and we're going to turn this page over like so. So now you can see just this flap is folded right here and it's fold reverse folded and all the other edges are unfolded. What you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge right here, this crease that you made, aligns with the center crease right there. So as you fold it, the crease should align with the center crease. Once you got it aligned, simply crease it in, just like that. And now you should have a shape like this. <clears throat> now basically what we're going to do is we're going to fold it so that this edge here folds along this second crease right here. And it's going to fold backwards, so if you want you can flip it over like that. And just fold it backwards like that along the second crease. And now you should end up with a shape like this. Now for the next part, you're going to turn it all the way around, like so. And you're going to fold this edge so that this little edge right here, starting from the center of this triangle, aligns with this edge right here. So what I mean is when you fold it, this edge aligns with that edge, just like that. And then simply fold it all the way down. And when you fold it, this edge here should align with this white edge right here. So just fold it like that. 
once you folded it, simply crease it in. And now you should have a shape like this. Now what you want to do is you want to fold it so that this edge right here gets folded along that crease. Let's just fold it like that and this is just going to define that edge a bit. Once you've done that, simply unfold it. Now you want to hold it like this so that you've got this uh, both the brown parts facing up. And now you want to fold it along this crease right there. Just fold it all the way down. Just like that. And now turn it around. And you should have a shape like this. Now what you want to do is you actually want to take it, you want to flip this whole thing around like so. And you want to unfold this. And you want to fold it back this way. And that was just to define the crease once again. Just fold it back this way. Now you should have a shape like this. Now what you want to do is when you turn around you should have this. So now what you want to do is you want to keep your finger here. And as you can see I already got a diagonal crease there but when I first started out I didn't have that crease. So you're going to want to make that crease by putting your finger right there and then raising this flap all the way like so. And once you get it high enough just press this part right in there like so. That should make a diagonal crease. And you know you've got that diagonal crease right when you've got this edge here aligned with the side edge right there just like that so once you've creased this diagonal edge in you should have your completed um, unit for one of the sides of the box and you'll want to go ahead and make four of these like so once you've got four of them take your first piece and hold it like this and it should look like this and what you want to do is you want to raise this flap so that you've got this little pocket open and you want to take your second piece and hold it like so, so that you've got this edge facing this pocket. And you just want to force this edge right in there until it goes all the way back. So once you think this uh, flap here has gone all the way in, what you want to do is you want to take this flap right here and you just want to fold it in all the way there. And this is just going to hold things together until you finish the box. And don't worry if that flap comes out, you can always put it back later. So now that you've got this shape, you want to take your next piece, like so. You want to do the same thing. Just raise this flap right here. Insert this edge into the pocket. All the way in. And you should now have a shape like this. And if for some reason uh, your this piece goes under, just simply raise it and put it up. Just like that. So now you should have three of the pinwheel shapes on the top. And if you want again, you can go ahead and lock this side. Now finally, you've got your last piece, and for this part, what you want to do is you want to, again, just raise this flap a little, insert it into that pocket, and you want to make sure this goes right underneath this flap right here. So just raise that, put it right under, just insert it all the way. Now you should still have one flap that's not placed inside, so what you want to do is you want to just pull it apart just a little bit until you get this far, and then just insert it into that pocket and then push it all together like this and as you can see some of these flaps have come out but that's okay uh, as long as it holds everything together while you're putting all those pieces in it should be fine and now you want to push it all together so that you end up with no hole in the center right there if you have a hole it means that uh, either your creases aren't aligned properly or it's just not pushed in all the way so just try and push it in just like that and once you think it's gone in all the way then you want to start putting these flaps back in there, just like that. So put in the first one, put the second flap in, put the third flap in there. And before you put the final one, just again make sure everything is tightly put into place. And once you think it's all good, just insert that flap right in there. And now you should have your finished fourth version of the pinwheel design. And it should have a nice design like this. Just a nice shape going around. And a shape like that. And uh, I would recommend for all these lids, probably this box, just because it's not too hard to make. And the uh, design looks really nice on the inside. You can just slide this on top like so. So now I've basically covered all of the pinwheel designs. I've covered this one, this one, this one, and this one. 
So if you want to see any of them, you can go and uh, check my channel and find out the um, videos from the previous day. And also I've covered these bases. Now, I've covered these two, and I've also covered this one, but I don't talk about much about this one, just because it's, it's, not, it's a very flimsy base. And uh, I would not recommend making this because, one, it just comes off really easily. And second of all, you can't really place anything in there. I mean, uh, unless it's really light like this, it'll stay inside. But if you got something a little heavier, as you can see, it's just going to pop right out, just like that. So, just thought I'd show that to you. Anyway, uh, if you do want to know how to make it, just, you know, just for fun, uh, I do have a tutorial. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I think this ends the uh, series for the pinwheel design. And next time I'll start doing different uh, videos, maybe get away from the boxes. So, uh, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, don't forget to rate and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next daily video.